Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick overview of some new stuff in from Runcam. Runcam have a couple of new cameras out, a new Split 4, and also, believe it or not, a webcam. Yes, you heard that right, a webcam. And SpeedyB, a sister company, has also brought out something that I'm really impressed with. This is the new version of their kind of on-the-go cable. Uh, you plug your battery into this, you plug it into your flight controller, and you can use something like an Android or iOS app to connect to Betaflight or iNav and configure everything. But I'm getting slightly ahead of myself. What I thought I'd do is I would run through these things all in this video rather than make separate individual videos. I'll put time codes and links down below if there's something you're specifically interested in. So let's start off with the SpeedyB adapter. So I really like the first version of this. I'll show you in a minute what that first version looked like to refresh your memory, but I really love this new adapter too. 1S to 6S power, and as you'll see in a moment when I open it, you can run it on lots of different types of battery as well. Now this was the original version, for those of you that remember. I still have it on my bench. Uh, the only downsides with this is, first of all, the cable uh, the USB kind of plug-in bit is part of the PCB itself. And the other issue was that it didn't come like this. You had to actually solder the power cable on and put your heat shrink on. And for lots of pilots, that absolutely put them off. But the couple of things that uh, have been fed back to SpeedyB, I think, about this first one, have obviously been taken on board when they came up with the adapter 2. So there's not a lot in here. The first of all is the connection diagram. <laughs> I love the way they call that. Just be aware of which port is which. You want the Speedy B icon or logo on the top of the box when you plug it in, and then you plug it into your flight controller. I connect to it over Wi-Fi. I use the Speedy B app on my phone. Uh, you can download. I'll put links down below for all of these pieces too. Inside the box, you have a little bright yellow cable ready to plug into your flight controller and then you have the adapter to itself. So the way it works is that you're going to plug your battery into one side and then the other side is going to be for the data connection. Now support here for XT60 and also kind of tiny whoop and toothpick style batteries as well which is great and you just need to uh, plug the cable into here and it turns it into like a lanyard adapter. Now this has full support for both iNav and beta flight and I've been playing with it here and been impressed with both uh, plugging it into this little Emacs freestyle quad and being able to go through and change everything but the really exciting thing for me is being able to access flight controllers that are running stuff like iNav hidden away inside the middle of stuff like fixed wing this is the brain dart that I built a while ago and to get the cable in here is something that's possible with this new adapter too that wasn't with that first adapter and to do these things until now I've been taking a tablet PC to the field but with a new adapter too I don't need to do that as long as I've got my phone and this somewhere and I can just plug it into whichever flight controller at the field I need and change the settings that I want. It will also support the things of flashing firmware I'm not sure I'd be brave enough to try that but it's there in case you need it I do like the way that the USB cable turns into a lanyard loop and that allows you to keep it safe in the bag and this is definitely one of those things that will stay on the bench for me. Next one we'll talk about then is the Split 4. Now I am a huge fan of the Runcam hybrid style cameras. Those are the ones that have the two lenses at the front, one dedicated for the HD footage, one dedicated for the FPV footage and until now that has been my natural choice. Now this latest version has a physically much smaller camera, still a full size board at the back and I think it's more aimed at those builds, the toothpick style smaller builds where you are stuck for space. I think with the smaller camera it would have been nicer to have a smaller PCB as well but the performance of this has been very impressive and it's one of the first splits that I would be happy to use alongside something like a hybrid. Now there are two things that have really impressed me with this. The first is that a lot of the settings is available via the buttons on it so you don't have to mess around with an app on your phone and you don't have to try and figure out things to the Getting, plugging in some kind of external joystick, you can go through and you can set everything up. And that's a really nice way of doing it. 
Personally, it can be a pain to try and mount cameras so that you can get access to the joystick port for when you want to change things or having to keep reaching for your phone when you want to change things like the recording setup. But if I show you some footage here of it in action, so here's what it looks like walking down the path, which I can do now because the UK is kind of out of lockdown. Field of view does feel wider than some of the other splits that I've had here, especially when you're looking at the FPV stuff. The colors and the contrast are much more natural on the default settings, and it's performing very well. Um, you can see as I move it around the little bit of fisheye that is there. The saturation in HD is much lower in this new version and I like the way that it is exposing everything. You might see a slight difference in the way that it is exposing the sky in the HD footage but that in the FPV footage recording in the goggles you can see that the sky is a little bit blown out which is kind of interesting to see that so we're not seeing exactly the same uh, image in both of the screens. So although it's using one camera, there does seem to be some slightly different processing happening at the back end. The audio, in my opinion, of this new Split 4 is better than the other splits that I've had in, and the default sharpness and the wide dynamic range and the way it's handling changes in light is very similar to the other splits. But this is a really nice camera if you are tight for space and you don't have space for something like the hybrid. Last one I'll talk about is this thing here. This, believe it or not, is a webcam. This is a first from Runcam, an interesting idea. When you actually take it out of the box, it looks exactly the same as old style FPV camera, but the connections on the back are very different. And it does come with the USB cable ready to plug it into the computer. Plugging it into the computer, this is a Windows 10 laptop that I'm using here just for the test, seems to work very well. No need to download any drivers, everything's automatically configured, and both the microphone that's part of the camera and the camera itself appear in Device Manager without you having to do anything. Only a couple of things that I've found with it. The microphone can be a little bit quiet, so you're going to have to play with the levels on your computer. And trying to run it on slower laptops, I occasionally had some breakup issues. So just be aware of that if you have an aging laptop to add this onto. So there we have it, some of the new stuff in from both Runcam and Speedybee. Uh, the things I've been really impressed with, the split for is my favorite split as i said you know the hybrid is the one that i tend to go for on my builds but where space is going to be at a premium the split four is the one i'm going to go for with that smaller camera the image is really really nice and the hd image that comes off it um, is a little bit nicer uh, in some ways than the one that you see in the fpv screen particularly around things like contrast and exposure of the clouds so rather than being the jack of all trades that's the first split i haven't really felt that uh, the, the lack of two individual lenses dedicated to, to either HD or FPV hasn't been a problem. And the other thing that I've been really impressed with is this. This is going to stay on my bench and be one of those things that is really handy. And I've already kind of said it, but having something like this at the field is worth its weight in gold. If you watch some of my videos talking about how I made and stuff like iNav, iNav uh, wings in particular and planes it's a slightly iterative process it may need two or three maidens to get it all dialed in and you might go through the process of maybe auto tune and auto trim and other things as well and normally you would have to take a little tablet or computer to the field to do that with this little fella you don't need to do that as well and the fact that it actually has the cable on here so if I can get a USB cable into the flight controller I can get this in uh, in it as well is a massive boon because there were instances where the previous version I just couldn't get it to fit because of its all in one nature and the fact that for some people it just put them off because it had to do soldering none of that with this new one so if you like to change things at the field or you're constantly building and maidening stuff and you would just love a way to quickly and easily mess with your flight modes or your level or those kind of things this is absolutely something that I'd recommend. Again, links down below if you're interested in finding out more. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the Inner Circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. 
Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organise all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.